Mika, welcome to our mock-up of the International Space Station. A mock-up? So that's where astronauts practice? That's absolutely right. Just like when we're on the ground, when we're getting ready to, to do some important activity, we need to practice. And so this is where our International Space Station crews practice for their space station missions. I'm curious, what do your patches mean? Yeah, the patches are a really cool way for us to represent our missions and all of the people that have invested in training us, preparing the spacecraft, and getting us ready to fly. Well, I like that one with the dragonfly on it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so our, the crews actually get to design you know, their own patches. And so I actually asked my daughter to design some patches for us. And I showed them to the crew. I didn't tell them who had made it. And they loved this patch. And so I said, I'm so glad my daughter designed it. And so <laughs> we used it. And it's a favorite. Many people have told me how much they like it. And I, I love it too. And I got to, so I got to carry a piece of my daughter's artwork into space with me. And then we have patches that represent the mission on the space station. And so I was a part of Expedition 67. And so that is represented in this patch Whoa. as well. Oh, and how many days were you in space? So I spent, I've been on two International Space Station missions, um, both about six months long, for a total of 311 days. Wait, Joe, why are oh. there plants here? Isn't this <laughs> cool? Like garden? <laughs> so this is a, a, a version or kind of an imaginary idea of what our plant habitat looks like. And so I actually got to work with plants uh, during both of my missions. The first mission, though, we, grew, we were the first American crew to grow and then get to eat uh, a vegetable in space. Whoa, whoa, what vegetable was it? We grew red romaine lettuce. How did it taste? <laughs> it tasted just like lettuce, which is a good thing, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time, I'd like to grow pizza. Oh, I would love to grow a pizza, but that might be kind of tricky to grow in space and also to grow on Earth. That's right. <laughs> modules are here. Oh, so yeah. there are many modules, and you can see, looking down here, that uh, all the way across is the Columbus module, the European Space Agency's module. And then off to the right are many more modules. So node two, where we have our crew um, quarters where we Whoa. sleep. We've got a module that uh, the laboratory where we do science. Mm -hmm. We've got node one where we have our kitchen and where we eat. And then we've got modules where we exercise Whoa. and uh, and and have uh, modules for the bathroom. Yeah, it's like a house. Oh. You, That's absolutely you right. You exercise and eat and sleep just you're in space. <laughs> That's right. In fact, the space station has the volume, the space of about a five bedroom house. So it's really Whoa. big. In fact, if you put the space station down on the earth, it would cover an American football field. Whoa, that's oh, that's so big. <laughs> well, Joe, thank you so much for teaching us all about the International Space Station. That was station. awesome. It was my pleasure. Now, you all probably ought to get suited up so that you can go train in our Orion spacecraft. <gasps> our Whoa. space suits. Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Joe. Yeah. Bye. Good luck. She's the Artemis II Orion Vehicle Manager. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome! Thank you. Oh, could you tell us a little bit about Orion? I sure can. What you're looking at is our mock-up. This is our Orion spacecraft mock-up. Whoa, is a mock-up kind of like a practice vehicle? It is. This is how we oh. train our astronauts. Oh, and you know, practice makes perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can we go to the top and Would see? You yes, let's go do some training. Okay, okay. let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Orion spacecraft. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Cool. Welcome to our trainer. 
you guys ready to learn how to be astronauts? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> Who sits here? This is our commander's chair. They're responsible for the entire mission. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, maybe Mika, you can be the commander. Sure, and you can be the pilot. That's where the pilot sits. Right? That's correct. Yeah, oh, they fly our spacecraft. Oh, you can I fly. Can steer it around. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you guys. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, I have really long legs. <laughs> I'm nice and snug. Yeah. You guys are doing great. So <laughs> when you're flying the spacecraft, you have um, hand controllers just like you do when you play video games. Whoa, this one? Yeah, nice. and there's so many buttons too. They yeah. are. These are kind of like the spacecraft's iPads. <laughs> Except we have lots of buttons and switches, but it gives you all the information that the vehicle has. Can we see Earth from here? You can if when we're in space. <laughs> oh. When Orion takes off, where is it going? It's going to the moon. Whoa, to the moon? Oh, we'll go fly our astronauts all the way out to the moon, and it'll circle around it and come back. Whoa, wait. Commander Astronaut Mika, I think yes. it's time for us to Pilot take... Pilot Flippy. Oh, Pilot Flippy is here to go. We're <laughs> ready, friend. Okay, off to the moon. Last time. Stop. Whoa. Oh, I can see my Blippi mobile from here. Hey, Blippi, Whoa. let's count the stars. Oh, let's see. How many stars are there? Two, Two three, three, four. four. Oh, it's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's a lot of stars. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh yeah, that might take too long to count all of them. <laughs> this is kind of like extreme camping. Everything you need to live and breathe and work is all inside the spacecraft. Whoa, Whoa. do you eat in here? You do. You eat all your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What about exercise? You sure do. We have a really cool device. It's like a like you're rowing a boat. Whoa. Oh. And do you even sleep here too? You do. We have sleeping bags that they can put up anywhere inside the spacecraft to get nice and snug. Whoa, that's so fun. <laughs> oh, wait, is there something that astronauts can do for fun while they're here? Or are they busy at work? Well, we do keep them pretty busy, but they do have some downtime. A lot of times, the astronauts like to talk to other kids at schools. Oh. Um, they also have, you know, their own tablet so they can watch movies and talk to their family. Wow, that sounds so nice. <laughs> well, uh, Commander Astronaut Mika, I think it's time for us to come back to Earth. All right, okay. let's land this. <laughs> and then what happens when Orion comes back to Earth? The, well, it goes very, very fast, coming in at 24,000 miles per hour. Whoa, that's Whoa. really fast. Really fast. And it comes in, and we have big parachutes that deploy three of them, and it lands nice and soft in the water. Oh. <laughs> and then you get picked up by a boat. We do. Oh, fun. Yeah. Well, I like boats. Well, I think our boat's here, and it's time okay. for us to get out. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Safety first, here's your helmet. Oh Thank yeah, you. before we get out, we need to put our helmets back on. <laughs> Thanks, Brynja. You're welcome, guys. So Good luck with your training. Okay, Thank you. here we go, come on. <laughs> Nika, you look great in your outfit. Thank you, so do you. Yeah. <laughs> These suits help us stay nice and clean. Yeah, I'm so squeaky clean. That's because we're going to find some moon rocks today, yeah. and we want to make sure we're clean so that the moon rock samples stay clean, too. Yeah. Well, we also just took a one-minute air shower. Whoa, yeah. Instead of water, it was air. Yeah, helps keep us nice and clean. Oh, but you know, Mika, we were supposed to meet some friends here. Some rock doctors. Whoa, yeah. Oh, oh here they are. Oh, hello, friends. Hi, I'm Blakey. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Great. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. What nice are your names? Nice to meet you, too. I'm Juliana. I'm Andrea. Oh, and do you both work here at NASA? We do. Yes. Oh. yes. What do you do here? Well, I'm the Artemis curation lead. That means I will help NASA bring back more moon rocks with the Artemis missions. Whoa. Yeah. So and we're... when they go to the moon, you yeah. help to bring back the moon rocks that are brand new from those missions. That is exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, and Andrea, what do you do here? I work in the Apollo Sample Curation Lab Lead, and I work with samples that will return during the Apollo missions. Oh. Working on these samples to send to scientists Whoa. so that they could do studies on them. Whoa. <laughs> She's my favorite person in the world. Oh. Flippy's my favorite person. Oh. Well, I think you're all my favorite person. <laughs> oh, well, do you think you could show us a little bit about what you do here? Absolutely. Why don't we go over and see some moon rocks? These Whoa. are our rock stars. <laughs> I like that joke. <laughs> well, look, there is one, two, two Three, four, five rocks. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. five moon rocks. And do you guys see the color of the moon rocks? Mm. Yes. Well, they're all different kinds of gray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. White too. Yeah. When you look into the night sky, mm -hmm. you can see that there's some darker areas when oh. there's a full moon. Mm -hmm. Those are those rocks. Wow. That's why they are dark, because the rocks are black. Oh. Well, that makes sense. And then, yeah. do you see the really white one right here? That's why the moon is so bright in the night sky, because it's white, because the rocks are white. Whoa, yeah, do you see that? Look, check it out. Whoa, you see a white rock right there? Yeah. That's for the, the lighter areas of the moon, right? That mm -hmm. is correct. Then next to it, there's some darker rocks for the darker areas. That is Whoa. right. Well, guys, the really cool thing about rocks is that they're like books. They contain stories. And so our job is to sort of extract the stories or learn how to read these books. And they tell us stories about how the Earth and the Moon formed. Oh, oh hey, but maybe we can ask Andrea how she processes these rocks. Yes, why don't we go over there? Oh. And this is the way you're going to go into the glove. Thank you. Whoa. OK, now that we have the fingers in the glove, it's time to put in our hands. In order to touch the sample, we would actually put on another glove, but we don't have sample in here right now. So okay, let's that's pull down some of the tools. <laughs> okay, let's pull get some tools. Yeah. What's this one called? That's a scoop. A scoop? For a hmm. soil sample or a regolith sample. Oh, well, yeah. Regolith is what we call soil on the moon. This is a hammer and a chisel, and we use this for breaking the rock. So actually, we place the chisel on the surface of the rock, and we whack it. You could paint a picture with my moon rock brush. I'm painting the moon. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Andrea. And thank you, Juliana. You're very yeah. welcome. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And me, Mika. Nice to meet ya. Hi, I'm Drew. Oh, hi, Drew. Oh, Drew, we heard that you are the expert on space tools. Mm -hmm. That's right, I build the tools here at NASA that we're gonna take to the moon to bring back rocks. Wow, can you show us how to use these tools? Sure, so we have a hammer and a chisel to start out to break our rock, and then we pick it up with a tong, and then we put it in a storage bag to bring it home. Wow. Oh, well, can we start collecting rocks? For sure, but safety first. Oh, yes. yeah, first things first. Safety first. <laughs> All right, I have my chisel and my hammer. Here I go. Nice job. Whoa, yeah, whoa. That's cool. I think a little piece broke off. How do we pick them up? We pick them up with tongs because we don't want to touch them because they could hurt our space suit. Whoa, okay, oh. here we go. One, two, two rocks. Oh, three <laughs> space rocks. Well, that was fun. <laughs> and then we roll up our storage bag and we can bring it home. Are there other tools we can use? There are, oh. so we can scoop up rocks as well. Oh, Drew, if I shake it, I guess it will get rid of all the dirt and the sediment and keep the rock. Exactly, like regolith on the moon. Awesome! Now we're all set to bring our samples home. Okay, here we go. Back to Earth. <laughs> Whoa, the next stop of our astronaut training. Oh, yeah. Huh. A kitchen? That's kind of funny. I wonder why we're in a kitchen if we're learning to be astronauts. Hi, hi Mika, hi Belipi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome. You What's oh. your name? My name is Shulei. I'm the first scientist at NASA and the first system manager for International Space Station. Oh, it's nice oh, to meet you, Shulei. Nice oh, you're an actual food scientist? Whoa! Wait, does that mean that this is astronaut food? Exactly. Those Whoa. are exact food and beverage we send to International Space Station. Oh, huh. Well, why are they all in these kinds of packages? That's how we can send the food out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> Fish with mango salsa. Mm, well, I'd like this as my entree, please. Oh, there's a lot of cool things like tortillas. Huh. Oh, split pea soup. <laughs> but I think I'll try this broccoli. Oh, Yum. Yes. My broccoli needs two of these syringes. Here we go. One. Two. Two. So now 
now that we've do put... Do we shake it up again? Water, do we shake yep. it? Yep, we shake it, and then we also need to let it hydrate about 10 to 15 minutes. Well, we're first, we're going to shake it up. <laughs> Can't wait for some yummy broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I'll set a timer on my navigator. Okay, we'll put these in the food warmer. We'll be back when it's ready. Yum! Oh, Shirley, is it all finished? <laughs> yep. So, this is the broccoli for Ooh. you. Oh, yum! Oh, and this is the fish for you. Thank Ooh. you. It's nice and warm now. I also hydrate and prepare some other foods for you because there are over 200 different food and beverage on the standard menu for ISS. Whoa, Ooh. that's a lot of food menu items. Mac and cheese. <laughs> Yum. Oh, and what's that one, Mika? <gasps> Chocolate pudding. Whoa, which one do you want to try? I will try my fish first. Okay, I'll try this broccoli first. But where's my plate? Hmm. We do not have plate on ISS because of microgravity. Instead, oh. we use Velcro and bungee cord to help hold things down. Oh, oh yeah, look. Out. There's some Velcro right here that help, helps to keep it on the table and not floating around. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna try a spoon. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Mm. Mm. Broccoli rocket ship blast off! We landed. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. Okay, let's try this mac and cheese. Okay. Dig it in. Ooh. <laughs> Yum! Whoa! That is so good. Mmm. Mm. I'm gonna try another bite. I think I'm ready for dessert. Whoa! Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> yum! Whoa! That was so yummy! Yes! Mm. Thank you so much, Shule, for showing us what astronauts eat. Yeah, it was so fun learning all of this from a food scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yay. Check it out! <gasps> space suits! <laughs> Whoa! These suits help astronauts stay safe in space. Oh, yeah, we would look great in these. <laughs> Hello! Hey! Whoa. Oh, Mika, these space suits are really heavy, though. They weigh 250 pounds. Oh, but in space, they would feel weightless because there's no gravity. Oh, yeah, ah. that's true. You could just float around. <laughs> oh, well, Mika, today was so much fun. Yeah, I love meeting people who help astronauts train to go in outer space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was fun eating all that yummy space food. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for our names. <laughs> Hey, can you spell our names with us? Okay, here we go. Ready? B L I P P I Blippi. Oh, good job. Can you spell my name with us? <laughs> Great. M E E K A H Mika. We'll see you soon, Bob. Bye, astronaut friends. We'll see you in space. <laughs>